This is magic. With this little trick I ran from 52 to 72 FPS. Here is another example during a bush trip from 50 FPS on the left to 72 FPS on the right. And this trick works for either the Quest 2 and the Quest 3 and let me tell you what to do. First, download the OpenXR toolkit, open it once and leave everything by default. Up next, we open the Oculus app on our computer. You click on Devices on the left side, click on either the Quest 2 or the Quest 3 and click on the right side on Graphic Preferences. Here we leave it at 72Hz, although you could up it to 90Hz if you feel like. Um, but for now, let's start with 72. Also, we leave the render resolution at 1x and click OK. OK, now here comes the trick. This is super important. We have to download the Oculus Tray tool. The link is in the description and here we set the FOV multiplier to either 0.6 or 0.65 and you do that on both sides here so the left and the right side. So what this does is that it doesn't render the image outside of your view, things that you can't see anyway, gaining you a very significant FPS boost. And make sure you set these settings in the Quest 2 or the Quest 3 before connecting to your computer, okay? And this Oculus Tray tool is doing magic, I can tell you. So this is the most important step of this tutorial. Please put in the comments down below that the rabbit is not blue but red. So I just know that you have uh, seen this part of the video. And we can confuse others that haven't done that. Now once you are in Microsoft Flight Simulator and activated the VR mode with left control tab, press left control F2. This pop-up will appear and set the upscaling slash sharpening to cos. I know it's off here, but set it to cos and put turbo mode um, to on. If it really gets stuttery, put turbo mode to off. Now this is not a settings guide, but here are my in-game settings for Microsoft Flight Simulator in VR. They are by no means good, I have to dive into them myself and maybe one day I will give a settings guide, but this tutorial is focused on the Oculus Tray tool and the FOV multiplier and what it can do. So let's go over to the test results. Okay, so here are some results. This is without the Oculus Tray tool setting. So here we have an FPS of 55, 56, sometimes dropping to 50 here at the ground. It's, um, it's still all right, but a bit all over the place. Not that stable. Here we are taking off. It's around 52, 50s, and it stays right there. So here we have activated the FOV multiplier. Here it stays at a stable 72, and it doesn't drop down, I can tell you. I think I can even up the settings just a little bit to make the image more sharp here. But still, the uh, hot here, the buttons, the switches, the, uh, the MFDs, everything is, is pretty sharp here. Especially here, we are taking off. Ah, uh, man, it's so good to do these bush trips now with a stable 72 FPS. Really happy with the results here. I hope they do the same for you. Um, and yeah, here flying over Patagonia, I believe. And yeah, uh, 72 FPS, as you can see, I am a little bit repetitive because I am very exciting that I can finally... Well, this might get me more into Microsoft Flight Simulator, to be honest. Really happy with this. And here we are flying over Bora Bora. As you can see, 72 FPS stable. Even if we are flying a little bit low to the ground here, I can definitely up the settings, I believe. Here we are going to land in the water. And yeah, 72 FPS stable. Graphics looks look pretty decent, not gonna lie. And this really surprised me. We are now flying over uh, Rio de Janeiro, Botafogo down here. And 72 FPS, really, in such a dense area? I mean, come on, this is magic. This is absolutely fantastic. And here, of course, the ultimate test, flying over Manhattan. Um, still a decent FPS. We even hit 60 here at this point. Uh, no 72, but okay. Still very, very acceptable FPS here. Without the Oculus Tray tool, I hit between 35 and 40 FPS. So that is a nice almost 20 FPS increase here.
And yeah, of course it comes with some negatives. If you set the FOV multiplier to 0.6 on the left and 0.6 on the right, you will notice some black bars on the left and right edges or in the top or bottom. Although, I don't find this very immersion breaking. I don't even notice them anymore after flying some. And I rather have the black bars than having stutters around, uh, as that is for me very immersion breaking. Now, as always, I hope this video will give you a little FPS boost. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with the latest VR stuff. And I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.